Hey, what's going on there guys? Nick here from Absolute MTG and I'm back with another product opening for you. So today I have for you guys the brand new dual deck that came out today, the Zendikar versus the Eldrazi. So this is coming out right before we get into Battle for Zendikar and the new set comes out. So this product's actually pretty cool because it gets to uh, show us some of the new uh, Battle for Zendikar cards inside of here. So, uh, who is this dual deck actually good for? Well, this is good for casual players who are just kind of new to the game. They're just kind of getting things started. And uh, uh, people that basically just want to enjoy the game but don't really care about competitive play. So, uh, these decks aren't really designed with the intent of playing them at Friday Night Magic for the standard format. Uh, however, they are just designed to be some somewhat of a kind of fun casual thing to just have two decks for one product that MSRP is at like 20 bucks. You can pick it up and instantaneously just be able to play and they even include now two spin down dice. That way you can keep track of life for two players. Uh, alongside that we get some deck boxes here as well to actually hold the cards in. Uh, they unfortunately I believe still won't uh, allow you to hold sleeved cards. Yeah, they seem very, very small. Uh, but just unsleeved, you can hold the entire deck inside of here. And we also have a rules reference card for how to play Magic and another uh, insert here on the decks themselves going over the cards and uh, the new and cool stuff that is actually inside of here, which we will actually take a look at it. So we'll put all this cardboard off to the side and get to the cardboard that actually matters here. All right, so we do get two foils here and a bunch of other rares. We have our Oblivion Sower as one of our foil mythics and the Avenger of Zendikar, which is a reprint and a pretty cool one of that with some new art that we also get. So we have the two of these. We have our spin down dice, which just have the Planeswalker symbol on them as opposed to like a Battle for Zendikar symbol or anything like that. But these are cool, super cool nonetheless. And then we have the two decks. All right, so we'll take a look at, this is Zendikar one first. All right, so we have Scoop Mob, Veteran War Leader, one of the new cards from the set. Uh, we have Seer Sundial, Primal Commands, Stirring Wildwood, another sweet reprint. Uh, Caravan Escorts, two of those guys. Beast Breaker of Balaged, uh, Frontier Guide. And those of you guys that have been playing for a while, you'll notice that a, like a lot of these are actually just reprints from the original Zendikar block. Uh, Knight of Cliffhaven, Stoneworker Puma, or Stonework Puma rather, excuse me. Daggerback Basilisk, uh, Grazing Gladeheart, uh, Tajuru Archer, Afagard Hounds, Turn Timber Basilisk, Grey Pelt Hunter, Jiraga Bard, Ondu Giants, Kabira Vindicator, uh, Makindi Griffin, Wildheart Invoker, Territorial Bailiff, I almost wanted to say Baloth for some reason. Uh, Explorer Scope, Groundswell. Actually, didn't uh, I didn't really look at the the deck list very much, but that's actually pretty cool that they put that in there. Uh, we have an Oust, Calmly Heart Expedition, Harrow, Retreat to Kazandu, Repel the Darkness, Sheer Drop, another one of the new cards featuring the new Awakened mechanic. Another sheer drop. Uh, we have some lands here, so we have Evolving Wilds, Great Pelt Refuges, uh, Turn Timber Grove, some forests, and some plains here. And it actually has the uh, the Zendikar art for our, uh, for the lands, which is really cool. Uh, we have some tokens, it looks like here as well, so some plants, and just the plants. So uh, five plant tokens, and they're just one sided. All right, so that is the uh, the Zendikar deck. Now let's take a look at the Eldrazi deck real quick. All right, we'll actually get this out of the way as well. Put this nice front and center here. 
Uh, so we have Magma as one of the rares. Butcher of Malakir. It that betrays, which I was actually super excited to see because this card was uh, getting a little bit expensive actually for being just the rare. Uh, we have Consume the Meek, which has new art as well. Hellion Eruption. Uh, Ruined Servitor. Bloodthrown Vampire. Uh, and then we're getting to the cool new card. So uh, this was a card that I'm actually super excited for, Forerunner of Slaughter. Really sweet name nonetheless, too. Uh, but the Devoid mechanic's actually very, very interesting. Uh, Blood Right Invoker. Uh, Dominator Drone. We actually get two of this guy, and he's another Devoid card as well. Torch Slinger. Uh, Cadaver Imp. We have Pawn of Ulamog. Vampire Nighthawk as well. That's another sweet reprint. Heart Stabber Mosquito. Emrakul's Hatcher. I have a bunch of those guys. Ulamog's Crusher. Artisan of Kozilek. Forked Bolt. Another sweet card to have in here. Two of those, actually. That's awesome. Uh, Mind Stone. Smother. Uh, Marsh Casualties. Induce Despair. Read the Bones. Corpse Hatch. Akum Refuge. And three of those. We have an Eldrazi Temple. Rocky Tar Pit. We have Swamps. So all these, oh, I wanted to say for a second, all these look the same, but no, they're all different, or at least somewhat different. And mountains. And then we have some tokens here. So we have a Hellan token and some Eldrazi spawns. And yeah, all of these ones are different, except for these two. These two are the same. But uh, these ones are different, and they're only just one-sided. So yeah, that is the Zendikar versus Eldrazi deck. So let me know down in the description below what you guys think of this. Uh, so in the comments, uh, let me know what do you think. Do you think this deck is awesome? Do you think it's uh, on par with uh, being Zendikar versus Eldrazi? What were you expecting out of this uh, without like looking at the deck list and whatnot? Like whenever they announced Zendikar versus Eldrazi, was there anything that you were really expecting out of this that you didn't see or that you actually did see? Uh, yeah, let me know down in the comments below. Let me know what you think about uh, this and uh, if there's anything that you thought that should have been in here but actually wasn't i thought it would have been cool if we would have had the uh, the full arts just the full art lands because they did announce that we're getting them in the fat packs not entirely sure if they're just going to be in booster packs as well uh but they did announce that we're going to have full art lands in um the fat packs this time around so uh, i actually thought it would have been cool if they would have given us full art lands as a preview in the dual deck uh, not sure how cost efficient that is for a 20 dollar uh, MSRP product. Uh, however, it would have been cool. It was a cool idea. Uh, but yeah, let me know down in the description below what you guys think. And remember to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more Magic the Gathering content. And until next time, guys, thank you for watching and peace out.